Hi, this is um, my review of the HTC One X Plus. Um, I'm reviewing the UK version, so it doesn't have any 4G. However, um, I don't see that as much of a downside, um, with the 4G network still being quite limited in the UK. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the design of the phone. It's quite large. Um, it's got a 4.7 inch um, 720p screen, which is one of the nicest screens I've ever seen on a phone. It's beautifully clear and really bright. Um, even the lowest brightness setting, it's still more than adequate in any situation. The back of the phone um, isn't openable, and it's got a rubberized sort of um, polycarbonate finish on it that's a bit different to the original HTC One X. Um, nice and grippy and kind of gives it this nice matte black finish, which I really like. Um, it has these red accents as well that kind of just make it look a bit funky and a bit different to other phones. Um, so sort of around the camera lens, the buttons at the bottom, and the Beats Audio feature here. The phone runs um, 4.2 um, Jelly Bean, uh, with obviously um, uh, HTC's 4 Plus um, Sense as well. It's brilliantly fast, um, never found any lag with the phone at all, no matter what I'm doing. Awesomely fast. It's got a 1.7 quad-core Tegra 3 processor with 1 gigabyte of RAM. And it runs games absolutely beautifully with um, its NVIDIA graphics. Um, it was all the Tegra Store allows you to buy games that um, are not available normally in the normal Play Store. However, have slightly better graphics, um, obviously, to push the phone more to limit so you have a better experience. Um, I'm just going to run some benchmarks of the phone so you can see uh, in sort of numbers what it looks like. Uh, I use Quadrant, so I'm just going to start that up and run that now. Let's run a full benchmark. Um, in previous tests I've done of this phone, I have had so 7,399 and 7,264 as the scores that I've got, making it one of the fastest phones that there is um, on um, Quadrant. It runs um, consistently at about um, 55 to 60 frames per second through all of these screens. Just let it go through them. Yep. So in this one, it's got a bit lower, it's only got about 5,700. Actually, I've still got Power Saver on. Um, however, yeah, in the past, I've got about 7,300 without Power Saver on. Um, on the topic of Power Saver, the battery of this phone um, was, was a large worry when I got this phone after what people have said about the HTC One X, um, which has um, only a 1,500 milliamp battery, whereas this one was upgraded to a 2,100 milliamp battery. Um, and that means that the phone now should last a day of use on medium usage. Um, you won't have much left at the end of the day. However, it is considerably better than what I've heard about the One X. Um, the phone, um, the camera of the phone is very nice. Um, it's got uh, a 2 megapixel front facing camera, which is an upgrade over the 1.6 megapixel on the One X. It's got an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Um, there are lots and lots of settings you can choose um, on this phone. It's very customizable. You can choose ISO, um, obviously uh, the balance. There's also a face detection and lots of features like this. The camcorder on the phone um, records in 1080p and it's reasonably smooth. It doesn't cope really, really that well with um, with fast moving um, images. However, um, overall. It's pretty good. It also has a feature you can record in slow-mo at 360 frames per second. Um, while there's not a huge amount of use for this feature, it is pretty cool to see things in slow-mo. Um, there's the music of this phone as well, so I'm quite impressed by. Uh, the um, original One X uh, had um, uh, wasn't particularly loud. However, this phone has had um, an amplifier put into it, so it's a lot louder. I'll just give a little demo. Turn the sound up. Yeah. 
don't know how that's going to come out on the video, however. Um, it sounds re pretty reasonable sitting next to it, and it's easily loud enough to, you know, um, when you've got it on full volume. Um, the phone, when I order it, came with some Beats um, audio headphones, the Ure Beats, um, that were um, uh, very nice. And that also complements the feature of um, Beats audio on here, which you can turn on and off. Which doesn't work on the phone's internal speakers, however if you're connected to a Bluetooth device or headset, it really makes a difference. Um, quite a lot of people have heard saying that all it does is really ba sort of boost the bass of the phone. However, when I've been using it, I have noticed it does make songs a bit clearer and just generally a bit nicer to listen to. I don't know whether that's particularly down to the fact I listen to quite a lot of um, sort of punk and rock music, which, you know, work well with lots of bass. However, I quite like it as a feature and I think that's yeah, quite a nice little add on you have. Overall, um, I'm very pleased with the phone. I think it's really, really nice. Um, comparing it to other phones, I prefer the look of this phone to the Galaxy S3. Uh, um, but that's just really a personal issue. I just really like the matte black and I think the S3 looks a bit like a pebble to be honest. But, you know, either phone some really nice phones but it's just personal preference but you know if you're looking at phones and you see a good deal on the HTC One X don't hesitate to buy it it's pretty cool thanks for listening